Let's talk about the blending hypothesis. The blending hypothesis is the understanding of how genetics were passed from parent to offspring before Mendel came around. And basically this hypothesis suggested that the traits of the parents were blended or mixed together to produce the offspring. The offspring then would be an intermediate between each parent's phenotype. You can see where a yellow and purple flower would maybe make a green flower in this blending hypothesis. But we know this isn't correct because then there would be nothing but one color of flower in this species of flowers and they would all be green. And we see genetic diversity in these populations, so we know the blending hypothesis isn't true. However, there is some data that might support or looks like it supports the blending hypothesis. For instance, a tall man and a short woman might have a child that's intermediate height between the two. Now, this does look like it supports the blending hypothesis. However, Mendel will further find out that the blending hypothesis is not true. Because of Mendel's research, we find that these traits are passed on independently of each other and they're not blended together. Even when certain circumstances might look like they're blended together, they're still passed independently of each other. So basically, Mendel disproved the blending hypothesis and set the framework for the field of genetics.